if you've tried to just be more positive and not be so negative or people have told you this, I'm going to highlight here that it doesn't really work. It's an outcome you might want, but it's not necessarily the how to. All right, I'm Dr. Cassie Preston. Today, we're actually going to break down how we can get into that right mindset or what a lot of people are calling a positive mindset. So first, let's just understand that this is like a sweeping concept that a lot of people are really pushing and talking a lot about. We got to be positive, have a positive mindset, be in the right mindset, stop being so negative. And I want to just, you know, first clarify as an outcome, that sounds great, right? We want that for sure. We want to be a better or healthier mindset than a super negative one for sure. But I'm going to highlight that the how to and just stating those things can actually be very problematic and often are not helpful at all. And you're actually encouraging, suggesting the wrong actual mindset. And there's a third option instead of negative and positive that's actually helpful. So let's get into first some examples of why this is not true. So if you think of yourself in a tough situation, right, your team's losing, things aren't going away, having a rough day, people are, are hard on you. You are in a you know, not an outcome that you like, right? Not a situation that you like. And we could often be very negative here. This sucks. I hate that. This coach, everything sucks. I suck, right? We obviously don't want to be negative, but on the flip side, um, you're not just going to be super positive about it, right? Oh, this is awesome. Okay. There's a whole third direction, which is about growing and learning. So I'm going to get into that because positive is not what it is. And think of it this way. If you try to be positive and over positive situations, you know, it's not true. Right. The other extreme situation is like, okay, you're going into a game or situation you're like I'm the best, I mean, I'm the best player here and you're being overconfident. Guess what? In the back of your head, you know, that's not true. Right. So we can't always separate these concepts. Instead, we want to get a realistic perspective. And you might be asking, well, what about the concept of fake it till you make it? Is that actually helpful? Does that work? Well, it can. And I'll get into that at the end. So let's go through three key things. And the first is the difference of judging things and being a fixed mindset of good and bad and how that often causes an emotional roller coaster. And that's why, you know, being positive and being negative is such a common thing that we suggest. And it's only making us have higher highs and lower lows and not being steady and consistent with our mindset and our, therefore our abilities. So think of it this way. When we think of success, and winning or the outcomes that we want, we say that is a good thing. We judge it. And on the flip side, when we think of negative things, the you know, the opposite, failure, losing, not getting the outcomes we want, we go, that's bad. That's a terrible thing. And so every time we focus on the good, we automatically insinuate the opposite is bad. Right? Every time you score or get the outcome you want, you're like, oh, that was a good thing. Well, in your brain, you're telling yourself the opposite is not bad. And how do we perceive bad things? Oh, this is awful, negative, and are going to get down and be negative about it when it happens. So you're going to be positive every time you get the outcome you want and negative every time you get the outcome you don't want. And that is so common. And that's why we have this emotional roller coaster that we all experience. And so the more you're trying to be positive and focus on this, guess what? The more you're going to crash and be negative um, when these things happen, because they will. There's no athlete that doesn't make mistakes or not get the outcomes that you want. It's part of life. It's part of learning and growing. So that's the first concept to understand is that, you know, as soon as you label and judge things and split them up as good and bad, then you're going to have these highs and lows. And one of the concepts that we get a lot in our programs is simply learning to have a healthier perspective or a bigger perspective when you see things for what they are. So this means that, yeah, this might be the outcome that I want, but it's not all inherently good. And this might be the outcome I don't want, but it's not all inherently bad. There's benefits and drawbacks to both. And think of it this way. Um, you want to see the situation for what it is. So a good example of this was uh, last year, 2019 playoffs in the NHL, Tampa Bay first place. Everybody says it's good. And St. Louis last place. And at some point in the season, we think it's bad. Well, who wins the Stanley Cup? St. Louis. They come together. There's benefits. They have this underdog mentality. Tampa Bay, first place, target on their back, haven't had much adversity, get swept in the first round. So we would never choose to be in last place. You'd always want this one, but make sure we're aware that there can be uh, silver linings here and there can be drawbacks and pressures and, and things from success. And so instead, we want to learn to stop judging things as good and bad and positive and negative and go in another direction, which is the second key lesson, which is what I like to call 
um, the right attitude or the growth mindset, which is a ton of great research by Carol Dweck. I'm actually going to throw up a diagram here just to kind of walk you through and get very clear on what I mean by a third option. Not negative, but not positive, but actually growing and learning and making the most of it. So just going to go with a quick screen share onto a whiteboard. So it makes it really easy just to share my screen and walk you through. So this is where a lot of us, um, we know we don't want to be, right? Being negative, okay? And then on the flip side, the a lot of people think we need to be uh, positive, okay, over here. And we think that's what it's all about. We got to just be positive all the time, okay? This is the outcome we want. But I want to um, highlight a third direction, which we'll call a growth mindset, okay? And it's about making the most out of things. So growth mindset, if you've heard of this term, um, or similarly, making the most out of it, embracing the situation, and learning and growing. Okay, so this is often what I would call the right attitude. So it might be labeled a positive uh, mindset or positive attitude, but it's not actually just about being simply positive, making the most out of it. Now, let me show you this, um, giving the previous example that we used. So this was, you know, things aren't going your way. We'd be super negative about it. And a lot of people think, oh, I just got to be super positive. About it. That's not it. So this is this fixed mindset. It's either good or bad, right? Dichotomy. We go back to the, we're splitting it up. And, you know, uh, we judge it. We're really, you know, everything sucks here. Everything's all sunshine rainbows over here. But the reality is, it's not about either of these directions, right? This is this fixed mindset that's going one of two ways. It's so split down the middle. Instead, the reality is go a whole different direction. Go this way. And that we're going to get both. You're going to circle back and forth between outcomes that you want and outcomes that you don't want. But as long as you're learning and growing and you embrace your situation, you make the most out of it either way and you keep learning and moving forward, you have now a growth mindset. And this is what's actually helpful. This is what positive psychology is suggesting we do. And this, everybody's you know, really starting to learn about a growth mindset, more so than just positive mindset, but a growth mindset. And the concept's quite simple, learn, grow, embrace, struggle, failure. But applying it, not so easy, okay? And that's where working on your mental game and taking the time and energy really matters because, um, and going back to not seeing things as so polarized as good and bad, but seeing them for what they are. All right, so that's the concept in a nutshell. Just thought I'd draw it out here uh, just to give you guys a, a bit of a visual representation of what I mean by growth mindset and making the most of situations instead of just trying to be positive all the time. So I'll give you one quick story related to this um, that helps put things in perspective about judging things and having perspective and making the most out of our situations. So that is the um, farmer and his horse and his horse runs away. Okay, and the story goes, everybody in the town says that's such a bad thing. He lost his, his black stallion. And they're all judging, what a terrible thing. But the farmer's response is, maybe so, maybe not, we will see. And then the, finally, a couple of weeks go by, the horse comes back, brings back 10 wild horses with it. Everybody in the town goes, that's such a good thing. Um, how good for you, what a great thing that's happened. The farmer's response, maybe so, maybe not, we will see. And now that he's got all these wild horses, he's got to tame them. So his 16-year-old son comes out to help tame the horses. And while they're doing that, one of the wild horses breaks his son's leg. What does everybody in town say? Oh, that's such a terrible thing. What a bad thing. Uh, how unfortunate. His response, maybe so, maybe not. We will see. Then a few weeks go by. Now the army comes to town. And all boys, you know, 16 and older, have to go to war. But since his son's leg's broken, doesn't have to go. Everybody in town says, what a good thing. How good this is. You know, his response, maybe so, maybe not, we will see. And so the moral of the story here is to have a greater perspective and know that there's benefits and drawbacks to every situation. What matters is, are we moving forward? Are we learning and growing? I'll give you one other quick example. Think in hockey or any sport, you know, you score, you think it's good. Well, what does the goalie think? It's bad. And what does the ref think? So it's just a goal. He's not judging it. So we want to learn to see it for what it is. And that, you know, regardless if you get the outcome you want or you don't want, you move forward. So this is kind of giving you some insights, hopefully, to that growth mindset. And then the last thing that I wanted to touch on, as I alluded to early on, is the uh, fake it till you make it concept. And the, the thing to take away out of this is that it can be helpful because 
not necessarily that you're completely faking it, but you're trying it out. You're acting. Okay. I want to be an elite hockey player. I want to be an elite athlete. So I'm going to act as if I am one. What does that look like? I'm going to set my intentions to be that. And so, you know, you're not the great hockey player that you want to be yet. You're not in the NHL or the athlete where you want to be yet. But it's like, well, I'm going to act as, act like I am there. I'm going to act and do the things that it takes to get there. And, and that's setting your intentions. That's doing imagery. What would it look like and feel like to be there? Um, and practicing that and, and being grateful for the things that you are doing well. And this is about having an accurate self image and saying, Hey, I can find it within me and, and find the voice within me that knows that I can get there if I do these things. And you still might have a voice that's like, Oh, I'm not sure if you can do it. That's healthy. That's normal. But if you don't start acting, okay. And taking action and listening to the voice that believes that you can, well, then, you know, this voice will always win. And you're going to get stagnate and not move forward and you can be overcome by doubt and, and thrown back. So if you think of this in the positive negative concept and growth concept that um, a lot of people say, be positive about it, you know, believe you can and act as if, et cetera. What they mean is listen to the voice inside of you that's true, right? So not getting caught up in this negative voice that's overly harping on you and, and doubting you, but actually learning to strengthen this voice and take action and set the intention. So that is a effective way, but you want to understand what you're doing while you're doing it. It is important. So that gives you some tools and, and, and concepts to better understand this be positive approach, which is not helpful advice. It's like the same when you go, someone's getting upset and you're like, well, just be uh, ca calm down. Just calm down. Like that's going to work. Right. Instead, we want to give space. We want to um, create the awareness and, and habits to better embrace our situations, to make the most out of them and to develop that growth mindset. All right, if you have any questions, let us know. Make sure to follow us. We're, we're posting more on YouTube, et cetera. Um, links to any of our programs and stuff will be down below. All right, we'll see you in the next video.